It serves as the climax to many episodes of the original Law and Order series, Manhattan Assistant District Attorney Jack McCoy's closing argument to the jury. In the real world, however, an effective closing argument has less to do with moralizing and rhetoric and more to do with tying facts to jury instructions. Hello, I'm Jeff M. Brown. I'm the legal writer with the State Bar of Wisconsin. I'm here today with Jessa Nicholson Getz. She's an experienced criminal defense lawyer here in Madison, and she is scheduled to give a presentation on strategies for jury arguments at the State Bar's annual Forensic Justice Institute, which is taking place January 19 through 20th. Welcome, Jessa. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Great, great. Thanks for being uh, here today. What are some of the strategies for jury arguments that you'll be discussing at the Forensic Justice Institute? So, you know, there's this old adage about if you if the facts are on your side, pound the facts. If the law is on your side, pound the law. If neither are on your side, pound the table. I personally believe that a little bit of table bounding in every case is appropriate. And part of what I hope to teach about in discussing effective closing argument and strategies is exactly that. How to put passion and persuasion into what can be some pretty dry conversation about applying facts to, you know, the credibility of witnesses instruction or the circumstantial evidence instruction. So that merging of facts and law in a way that creates a narrative that makes people want to go vote for you. Is there a way, because that whole tying of facts to jury instructions, which can be you know, rather long-winded, it, 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 it can be mechanistic at times for, for jury members. Is there a way before the closing argument, as you're going through trial that you can sort of seed that soil for what you're what you're going to plan in the, in the closing argument with the jurors. Yes. And to me, the most effective place to do that is jury selection. Jury selection is the only part of your case where you get to talk with a jury. You get to have an actual conversation, ask them questions, have them answer it rather than just being sort of a lecture position like a closing. So I usually, if I know there are certain things that are going to be a focus in a trial, I introduce those ideas really early in the jury selection process. So for example, I just finished up a trial last week and circumstantial evidence was a big part of the argument. There were things that I believed and my co-counsel believed, and fortunately the jury agreed with us, but we believe that you could conclude based on not the direct testimony of any witness, but some of the text messages and phone records that we knew existed in terms of communication. And so starting to talk about a jury, talk to the jury about circumstantial evidence in jury selection and how many people are comfortable using something like that. Um, you know, how many people would be concerned that you have to draw inferences and make these conclusions versus have something say on videotape for you to decide? What do we do about that? Can that evidence be considered as strongly as more direct evidence? So I talk to them about those issues as early as I can. If it's a case where witness credibility is going to be huge, um, the case I just finished is another one of those. Jury instruction 300 gives a number of factors that anyone should consider when evaluating witness credibility. So I like to talk to my juries early about how do you know that people are telling you the truth? What sort of things do you look for? And then after I get some of those ideas, I say to them, well, the judge is going to tell you a bunch of things. How many people think that those make sense? Usually they're going to raise their hands and say yes, and we'll have a conversation about that. So I like to introduce and sort of flag the things that I think will become important in my argument at my first possible opportunity, which is usually voir dire. 